how to create a spiral gradient in Affinity Photo or a spiral design. There's no spiral tool, but you can use layers. And the key thing, just go over here to the tools and go down to the donut tool. Select that, hold down the shift and drag. So you've got your donut. You can change the whole radius by going up here and you can make it maybe about 95, 96. If you make it too thin, you might need to use zoom tool to be able to do the transforms. Now, I've got this gradient fill. You can change it to anything. You can modify it in all kinds of ways. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate that and then change it later. Go to the layer menu and then duplicate linked. Once you've done that, you can then rotate it just slightly. You can also resize it slightly. Make sure you've still got the overlap. So I've just rotated it and scaled it just slightly. Well now, I've got this duplicate linked. I can hold the Command or Control J, it's on the keyboard, and that will repeat it, that transformation. And as you do that, you can see what happens. Apply it multiple times and it will rotate inwards and you'll get that spiral design. Now, the spiral design you get, you may not like. You can change it later. You, the angle you can't change, but the actual spiral you can tweak. The colors you can tweak as well. So I'm just applying it 10, 15 times, 1,000 times. Doesn't matter. Right, just down. Now, it'll never reach that center. But now what you can do, you can select all of them. With them all selected, well, you can then group them. But if you want to change them, let's just select one first. Let's just go and select any of them. Doesn't matter. That's the thing about the duplicate link, is you can go over to the gradient tool and then you can change it, the gradient. So as you change it around, you can see it changes there. You can also go to the swatches panel and you've got a whole range of different colorful gradient swatches. Just use one of those. So select that one. Maybe that's lots of colorful stops. And you can then move that around and that will change again the gradient that you get, the spiral gradient you get. Maybe select that one and move that around. And you can see, again, it will change the spiral. Also, go up here and you've got elliptical. So you can change that, move that around. Oops, just undo that. Move that around. And also go maybe for conical. And again, change that. And you can create all kinds of different, wonderful spiral gradient designs. Well, Let's just go with one, something like that. I'm going to group them now. So I've got decided on what I want. So select all of them. And you can do that using the move tool. So just go over there, just select every single one of them and then right click and down to group. So it all groups into one. Because then what you can do, you can rasterize it. Of course, once you've done that, you can't change the gradient. Of course, you can tweak the color of the gradient using layer menu and adjustment layers, which is perfectly reasonable. So I'm just gonna go down there and rasterize. So it's all rasterized. Now in the layers, if you want, you can apply a blur because you can see some lines here. It's not perfect to the spiral. So click here, then go to the Gaussian blur, highlight that and also check this and then change the radius. And as you do that, blurs it, but the gradient looks much nicer and smoother at that point and close. You can also apply, obviously, other style effects as well. But also what you can do, you can apply filters. So filters, down here, distort and twirl. So with twirl, you can actually add in an additional twirl effect as well. And you can see you can do that and click apply. And as mentioned, you can go to layer, new adjustment layer, and maybe go for gradient map to apply a gradient map, etc. If you've got any questions, please put in the comments below. Thank you much.